Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's all doing good. I hope it's all doing fine. So today, you know what time it is? Boom boom. You know what time it is? Boom boom. Time for Gummy to have her desserts. That's what time it is. Boom boom. Boom boom. So guys, we're gonna have some dessert and we're gonna have a chitty chatty. How are you all doing? All good, I hope, and I've got a cup of coffee. So the dessert, we are having chocolate custard with sticky toffee cake. Now, I wasn't sure if you were allowed to, because I checked the cake to see if you could heat it up. <clears throat> but you know, with it being toffee, I thought, mm, it would be nice if it was heated. So I just bunged it in the microwave for a couple of seconds. I did. So we're going to give it a go. Because I've never had this one before. Nice chocolate custard. Red hot. Oh, that was nice, but hot. I'm gonna let it cool down a bit. <laughs> so, we're gonna have a chitty chat. <clears throat> I done the Burger King video today. And obviously, I was paying doing the rain. So, go with home. Now, the road that I drive along, right, and I do this. Probably daily, this road daily, okay? Never have I seen it being flooded this badly, no. So I'm driving along. Now this road, if you have your sat nav on, it says it's a 70 mile an hour road. But there is road signs saying that's only 50. So I just stick to the 50 a day. So I'm driving along and I see like... On the left side that there's road surface water. So I goes to move over to the right. Little did I realise that the whole entire road was covered in water. That spot there is just cost me £129 in repairs on my car. So Obviously, I slowed down before hitting the water, but the pressure of the water hitting the car in the tyres caused something to come loose underneath my car. And I thought it was, I thought it was a freaking exhaust pipe. Because I just heard something screaming across the floor and I'm like, oh my God. Nearly put me in um, hazard lights on because I didn't know what, what was going on underneath my car. Obviously, I've reduced my speed immensely, I did, because I thought I am not going any faster because I don't know what is coming loose. Nothing was shown up on the dashboard. <clears throat> so, I turned off where I normally turn off, pulls into the garage. Obviously, I immediately ring my dad. I'm like, I'm, I think my exhaust is hanging off. You went go and check. So, goes out, checks. And I'm like, I ring them up, I went, it's not me exhaust, I don't know what it is, I went, there's something hanging, hanging off underneath the car. So, he went, right, I'm coming over. So, he can, obviously, he comes over, but I, I pops into the garage at the same time, like the parallel garage, parallel station. And I went, I'm just parked over there, I went, no, I went, is it all right if I stay parked there? I went, because there's something hanging off underneath my car. Because I didn't want them to think that I was just parking there for the sake of parking there, you know. And she went, ah, it's no bother, it's no bother, pet. I went, right, thanks. Um, but was the, my dad came and he checked on the car. And then, um, it was the, the heat protector underneath what's come off. 
£129 for a new one. So get watching me bloody videos, please. Because I wasn't expecting to pay out £129. Well, that's just for the part. I've got to get a pretty jet. So get watching me videos. I'm going to get this phone out. I'll not get this phone out, but just watch me videos. Press like, subscribe, share the video. Watch the freaking surface water when you're driving. So that, it's been an expensive day. It has. But I. So what I actually want to talk about is what we mean channel is going to go in the future. There is going to be changes. There's not going to be a lot of me sitting in the house. I'm going to be out. I'm going to be about traveling, going to different places, trying different things. It's going to be a lot of that. Obviously doing mukbangs in my car. Doing mukbangs in my car. In my car. We're going to do mukbangs in the car. That's the only dirty thing I'm going to be doing in my car. In the car. This cake is lovely, mine. Go from um, Alsa. It's a Yorkshire. That's what's written on it, Yorkshire. 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 How do you see it? Yorkshire or Yorkshire? Um, loaf. Sticky toffee loaf. Bloody lovely. I'm pleased I heated it up a bit actually. I am. It is an actually really nice, nice soft geek. Before day before I heated it up, it was it really nice and soft. You know, really nice, and of course, ambrosia chocolate custard. So I got home two hours after I finished doing that um, Burger King for you. As I was thinking, that was pretty lovely that. So obviously my mum and dad live um, quite away from me, they do, they live in the wild, the willies. So, but I didn't want to ring me, ins um, the insurance company up. I could have done, but there was nothing thrown up on the dashcam, not on the dashcam, dashboard. 
Oh, honestly. But to be fair, I was going to get the, I was going to try and get the car in the uh, garage in any way, like on Friday or something. Um, cause it was making like a little rattling sound underneath. So I think that's what it it was. I think that's what it was. Cause it's not rattling as much now. Do you know what I mean? So my dad pulled it off because it was just dragging along the floor. It had to come off. It had to come off. Um and obviously he knows more about cars than what I do. I, I don't really know much about cars, I don't. But we had to go to Toyota. Well, he went to Toyota and got a new one ordered. Um, £129. Obviously with it being... Um, a part for the car, you have... You, obviously you have to order like a specialist part for the car you probably have to order from the garage itself from the the manufacturer itself um i don't know if i could have gotten it cheaper but he went he went um to toyota and ordered it so and then obviously i'm gonna have to pay for the um it getting fitted refitted And it, it's horrible when something like that happens like, you, like when it happened the last time with, with my other car that was, that was um, I, but, and the way my engine just cut out on the other car but the next I mean there's nothing wrong with this car I love it because it's hybrid so I don't really want to get rid of it, you know what I mean? If I do get another call, there's no wrong with it. But when I do finally buy myself a brand new call, which I will do, it will definitely be the same type of model. Like the same model as what I've got now. I won't I wouldn't go for a big fancy freaking call. I'm not for Range Rovers and Audis and all this, that and the others. I, I like my small little car, I do. So, I, <laughs> I just thought, just thought I'd see that. <gasps> because that's it. <clears throat> when I started driving, well, before I started driving, I always said I want a Mini. I was adamant that I wanted a Mini. So when I started learning to drive, I, I booked a driving instructor who had a Mini and I didn't like it because it's really low down on the ground and I was like, nope. I, I didn't like how low it was on the, on the ground. I felt like I was driving on the floor. And then I got in my nephew's car a couple of years ago and he's got an Audi. And it was again like driving on the freaking ground. I'm like, how how can people th think that this is a nice car when you feel like you're literally driving on the ground? Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be driving on the ground. I like driving the 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 height that I'm driving it. Do you know what I mean? So I. And I, I don't like the look of Range Rovers. Well, there's Range Rovers. I don't like the look of Teslas either. Tesla cars, I don't like the look of them. And the new BMWs, the, the, like the new style of BMW, them, have you seen them? How bulky they look. It's like, blech. I don't like the look of them. Do you know what? If my son was here and he heard us talk like this, say, hey, 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 like that. I'm the same with new built houses. I don't like the, I don't like the look of new built houses. 
I like old old houses like cottage style houses do you know what I mean like a uh, sandstone <laughs> why have I been talking on like this I'm just having a yippee 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 I love custard. Do you know what I actually fancy? Some custard with some banana bits in it. Sliced banana. Oh, have you? Do you remember having that as a kid when you were like younger? Obviously, if you're like my age, you'll know what I'm talking about. Custard with banana in. Mmm. Did anybody ever have? <laughs> now I'm really talking. This is a council estate group, do you know what I mean? But bread and butter with sugar in it. Did anybody ever have that? Bread and butter with sugar in it. Bread and butter sugar sandwiches. And yeah, look it. We, we survived it. We survived it, so nobody can bloody judge it. Do you know what I mean? Council stay alive. As much as people mock it and look down at it, we're here. And we're living. And we're surviving. Do you know what I mean? If we can get through the 80s in the early 90s, you're spot on. Do you know what I mean? And then, oh, Tomato ketchup sandwiches. Do you remember them? Tomato ketchup sandwich. Eee, freaking hell. I'm like, I'm way back here. Eee, honestly. I remember me, me old school friend used to say, her dad used to um, have gooseberries in, in the garden. And I used to, honestly, they were bitter as hell. Bitter, like, Do you know what I mean? We would like bite into them and then spill them. <laughs> and then in, in our old garden, we used to uh, grow rhubarb and strawberries. I used to love rhubarb when I was a kid. But I think because of what they cooked it, I, I love eating rhubarb raw, raw rhubarb with its sprinkle of sugar on. But cooked, I can't, I can't abide cooked food. I just can't do it. I can it. So, but raw rhubarb with a sprinkle, like you would have a bowl of sugar in front of you and you would dip it in and eat it. Lovely. When I was a kid. That's how you see it. On the council estate. Council estate life for the win. Listen. I don't care how much money you've got, right? And I will say this to anybody, right? You can grow up, move on and move out of a council seat, right? But if you were born in a council seat, you were always and will always be in a council seat, okay? So if you try to look down at anybody else who's in the council seat, bug off. Do you know what I mean? Because you know you're no different than me. Do you know what I mean? You weren't born with a freaking silver spoon in your mouth. Do you know what I mean? I'm from a council estate. I'm pretty sure a majority of you so unless you're from um out of the UK, then you'll not understand what a council estate is. Um but I, you, you can't fault anybody being from a council estate, you really can't. It's the best life growing up because we're still here and we're surviving. Just saying. We're not snobbish. We get on and we have a laugh. We we'll have some banter. We didn't stick with nose up at people. We didn't. And that's who we are. And I've just rambled on for 20 minutes. I have. 
But anyway, like I say, there's going to be a lot of changes on the channel. That is going to be. So I'm going to post this video tomorrow night, Wednesday. Then I'm going to post... I've just found another video in, in my um, camera roll. So I'm going to edit that tonight, as well as this one. And I want to post that on Thursday and then Friday... I'm going to post, actually be there, will I be able to, hopefully I can on Friday because the part from my car should come in on Thursday and then hopefully second to plan of it then again, will I be able to travel that far, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm definitely going to do a video for Friday. But the original plan will be to post. Is that a moth? It friggin' is. <gasps> I won't go over that way. Just, just stay over that way. Did it come back to us? So, it's coming back to us. So, in any way, I don't like moths. Where's it? It's so nanny with you. Bye-bye.